I like that. How's it going? Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. This is Red Dead Online and the story of how me and my Italian BFF pulled off the greatest gem heist the West has ever seen. When I say Italian BFF, he didn't actually do a lot, if I'm being honest. In fact, I had to pay the prick to take part in these missions. So in order to steal these gems, I need to earn a currency called... Capitale, which is basically the cryptocurrency of the Wild West. No one really knows what it is, and only baddies accept it as a form of payment. It takes 15 Capitale to launch one of these heisting missions. And yes, I am calling it a heist for clickbait. Welcome to YouTube in 2021. Make sure to like and subscribe. So there's three gems to steal, and each mission costs 15 Capitale to play. You can either earn the Capitale by grinding with hard work, or you can Jeff Bezos it and just throw money at the issue. Three gold bars gets you 10 Capitale. This is going to get expensive, but content is king. It's a bloody good thing I'm the Jeff Bezos of Red Dead Online. And that doesn't mean I work my staff to death for minimum wage. I'm fucking lord it. Big love to Gene Rubke. I've said it in the last one, I'll say it again. I love you. So I purchase the Capitale and head over to Anthony Foreman and start the mission Il Sovereigno. Probably butchered that pronunciation, but as you know, can barely read English. Foreman hands me a love letter telling me, you got this babe, XOXO, which really helped boost my self-esteem. Thank you, Anthony. I'd really needed that hun. Cute cutscene, so let me sum this up quick. This politician's a prick. They all are. Which says a lot, because we literally rob and kill people for a living. He has three big ass fancy as fuck gems, and he's going to be moving them across the frontier. Which is really handy, because, well, we live in the frontier. The first we'll be stealing is... The diamond. Il Sovrano. If you believe the stories, it was stolen from a temple in India, and tragic fates have since befallen its owners. Oh, right, yeah, great, fantastic. Everyone's fucking died after stealing it. But yeah, just send me out after it. What's that about, bud? Fuck me. Go to road. So far... So good, I can do that. Oh, we got some baddies up ahead. Identify and take out or hogtie the target. Hmm, so I've got to find the target. I'm assuming the target is going to be in there, considering that's where all the baddies are. This is going to be cinematic as fuck. What's up, motherfuckers? How can I? How am I struggling so much? It turns out going in and shooting everyone with no mercy isn't the smartest play. As I quickly died trying to hogtie this old prick. Oh wait, am I dead? Oh, one life down, two to go. Providing you count zero lives as a life. Seeing as I've already alerted every lawman in town, it doesn't take long for me to be shotgun to the face. Oh shit, my dead again. Zero lives left. I'll have to be really careful now. I walk in blind and get obliterated. Fail in the mission. Oh no, I'm dead again. Thankfully, I don't need to spend any more capital to restart. I really would have rioted if I had. I restart and try for a more casual approach. Evening officer, how's it going? Don't mind me, just casually walking in here. Hello, Mr. Prostitute. Um, nope, not today. Thank you very much. I am on an errand. All right, boys, how's it going? This bloke seems to be blocking the way, so I give him a gentle hat tip to show him I'm no toxic griefer. And he pulls a gun on me. Bastard. Luckily, I've been doing self-defense classes every other Thursday and dispossess his weapon and knock him out with one punch. Hard as fuck, but... Okay, so nobody reacted there. That's okay. I'm, I'm happy with that. I do some calculations in my head, trying to work out the most strategic way to get past this lawman. What's the best way of doing things? And then decide my usual technique is best. Okay, so that worked out pretty well. Oh my god, I might just be the greatest gamer to ever exist ever. This is easy. I'm low on the- Oh, I am dead. It's a good thing I didn't go for the higher difficulty. Jesus. Horse, where are you? Horse, I demand you. Why does the horse not obey me? Here he is. Oh yeah, he's a god of war. Bit chaotic, innit, I guess. I head to steal a wagon from location A, kill a bunch of baddies, and deliver said wagon to location B. Simple stuff. Quite literally, it's basically the same formula I've been playing for the last 10 years. Hmm. Should probably try and quick scope these motherfuckers. These last two don't really want to go home to the missus come 5 o'clock and just wait for the swift release of a shotgun blast to the face. Well, that guy didn't react at all, did he? To be fair, her casserole is absolutely disgusting. I quickly dispatch the pursuing lawman. Well, that was easy. I steal the wagon and deliver it to Martelli's men. I started this video saying I was the Jeff Bezos of Red Dead Online. Now I'm one of his workers. Except, to be fair, I am treated much better. I mean, I'm only getting shot at. You have done well, my friend. Whatever, bro, just give me the fucking cash, innit? I earn eight gold nuggets and a disappointing $31. Th Fuck! 
$31. I spent six gold bars to play that mission. Six? Jesus Christ. Turns out I'm paid as poorly as his workers too. The next gem I'm stealing is the Ember of the East. I'm one 12 have already died trying to steal it. What's with this guy and cursed stones? Why don't you just send me to shoot up a mirror factory? Or steal a bunch of black cats while I'm walking under a ladder? And I'm the 13th. This is gonna be a miracle if I can get out of this alive. Search Annersburg for the chest. Ah, it's a pretty big town. I gotta go for looking for every single freaking chest. Ah, appears to be a couple of guards ahead of me. Everyone keep it casual. Hi boys, how's it going? Start making tracks. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No worries, no worries. Look, I'm, I'm going this way. I'm going this way. Take it easy. Take it easy. I don't want to fuck about. You know what? Actually, I kind of do. Fuck you, motherfucker. Next. I kick the door down at the sheriff's office because we lack the emotional maturity of knocking. What can I say? I'm given a prompt to kick a door in. I'm going to kick that bloody door in. I find a bracelet and decide to enable the finder's keepers rule. But this knobhead with Sean off doesn't take it very well. I think it's cheating sticking on with Sean offs. I'll be honest. Apparently he was planning on wearing it to his sister's wedding. Luckily my finder's keepers rule rolls into reincarnation. So that's a win for me. It then takes me like six months to find the next chest. It's a bloody big town and I'm just one lonely boy. The game has enough of me noobishly fondling around. It just tells me to look in this room, you prick. Oh, yeah, boy. Ah, finally, it's taken me so long, the game's gone. Listen, mate, just fucking have a look in here, will you? Right, so do I have the ember, uh, ember thing? What are we looking for again? I grab the cursed ember thing and head on out. Oh, what a shot that was. Horsey, come on, please. I'm going to need your assistance. Oh, what a shot that was. Straight to the throat. You probably guessed how this works by now. I've got the goods. I now need to take them to a third party to get paid. If you can count 30 bucks as a payment for murdering 45 blokes, stealing a priceless artifact, and dying once, then being reincarnated. Ah, uh, don't you fucking hate it when they make you slow down on purpose. Give me the cash. I know it's not going to be a lot, but I'll give you the gem. I'll fuck off and cry about the fact that I've now spent... Nine gold bars to play two missions, which weren't even brilliant if we're being honest. And then cry about the fact that I'm going to spend more gold bars in order to play the last mission, because I might as well. I mean, it's content at the end of the day, isn't it? So the last gem we'll be stealing is the Covington Emerald. It's going to be transported on a train from Saint Denis, and it's under the protection of the law. Luckily, I have no issue with murdering rounds and rounds of faceless policemen. There's a lot of law around these parts. Evening, officer. Find a way onto the train. So I'm assuming they're not gonna just let me jump on. You know, trespassing allowed. All right, yeah, no worries, but no worries, no worries. I'm just gonna head this way, all right? Go on, get I'm going, I'm going. Oh my God, this, that is not how I imagined this was gonna go. Oh my God, there's Gatling guns and everything. Go, 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 go. Well, at least I'm on the train. Okay, this mission is fucking epic. I like this. Driver, you keep this train moving. I'm looking for this gem. Oh! Oh, where did you come from? So we got a Gatling gun firing straight down the middle of the train. This is fucking epic. Will you get into cover? What's going on? Get into cover, bro. Well, I took way too much health than I should have. But that does now mean I get to use the Gatling gun. Gatling gun. Do-da, do-da. Give me all the bullets now. Do-da, do-da, day. Sorry about the horse murder. You know what I mean? I'm not. But, you know, we got to pretend for Pete Devon. Look, the chest. What chest? Oh, the chest at the front? Oh, how long has that been there? I collect the gem, then decide it's time for a pro gamer move. I plan a cinematic leap from train to my horse. Aries, come on, you gotta catch up. You gotta catch up. Aries, where you going? However, the horse decides to take its union allocator lunch break, and I'm on my own, prick. While I'm waiting for the lazy prick of a horse, I decide to try out some philanthropy. Can't say that word. Let's move on. I free some prisoners I previously missed. Cut the prisoners up. No, nope. ah, cut them up, but you know what I mean. I'm sure they were innocent and probably didn't murder anyone's nan or anything like that. Where is my stupid horse? My overpriced horse eventually catches up and I make my move. Come on, Aries, you can do this. I can do this. No! Oh, uh, yeah, I completely fucked that. Well, we'll pretend I didn't just wait an excruciating long time to try and do that trick shot. I head through the ambient darkness and start to think about my future. I've stolen three priceless stones and will likely be wanted until the day I die. But this is the Wild West. That could be cholera, and it could be tomorrow. Maybe it's time to retire. Me and Crips pack up your missus onto the back of a boat and head to the tropics. I hear Tahiti's nice this time of the year. Nah, just kidding. I earn 82 bucks, which isn't even enough for a new repeater. Fuck! Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like. If this video gets three likes, I will commit the largest precious gem heist the world has ever seen. New videos every Sunday, and I've started posting shorts throughout the week, so it'd be cool if you could check them out. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section. In fact, 
Just make sure to comment anything, to be honest with you. It'd be nice to know that I'm not just shouting to myself. It does feel like that sometimes. <sighs> and, uh, sorry, anyway, um, I'll see you next week. Bye.